hi cancers welcome to my channel so this reading will be for the first till the 14th of october okay guys so we're going to be seeing what's going on for you guys between that time please remember to give the video a like um subscribe share comment if it resonates something just turned around for your pentacles okay i'm going to pick five cards and then i'm going to pick up just read the energy and then continue okay guys do you know what that's <clears throat> how many one two three four five okay so we have the three of pentacles we have the magician we have the four of swords we have the five of pentacles We have the three of swords and we have one two three four five eight of wands at the bottom that was six so i'll leave that one out but that's it and then you might be getting fast communication because of something so i'll get to that in a minute <clears throat> okay i do see some of you guys um working on something you, you were working on something it could be yourself yeah, I do you know I do get yourself with the with um the rest of the cards, you know, four of swords, five of pentacles, three of swords. So I feel like some of you guys are really going through it at the moment. Some of you guys might be um like physically exhausted where you need to rest. Yeah. Where you need to like take a break and just recharge your batteries. Some of you guys it might be lower money and you're just sitting, you lay down thinking crap, like what am I gonna do? Some of you guys is like heartbreak so it could be all of it for some of you guys it could be some so please take what resonates okay but um yeah it's a lot going on you know me of you guys the three of pentacles and magician i get i'm getting like you guys are trying to figure out what to work on who to work with if you should work with certain people yeah or on certain things if you should take something up um like a new skill a new job a new some of you guys are not sure though it's like you're not sure because it's like say like you're an artist see that person's drawing yeah so you're an artist or something of some kind tattooist makeup artist yeah you get right you get you get the gist anyways um it's like a hair stylist something like that it's like some of you guys might have been doing this for a while or might just that's your thing in it but it's like okay what else do i know what else do i have up my sleeve okay and maybe this is a time guys if the if for the ones that this is um for the ones that it resonates with where it's like a change of um career i feel like this is a time where definitely try something new or go about things in a different way something needs to change and, and you feel it you're experiencing this you know you're experiencing this because you know you're there thinking about it you're, you're stressed out you're like some of you guys might be losing a passion for something as well um maybe this isn't bringing you as much money anymore and that might break your heart because it's something that you did once enjoy but maybe this is just your spirit guides god your angels saying you know what try something different because you're you know the magician there's so many things that you have up your sleeve you know it's like you need to um you need to really dig deeper and figure out what it is that you would like to do what, what else makes you happy and you know what's funny as well um i'll give you a clue it's a bit different for everybody but you know those things you used to do when you was a kid those things that used to make you happy and then you stopped doing it when you started you know getting older like you started going to secondary school and you started having different interests hobbies you started dating you know you had to work because you had bills and, and then all those things that you used to enjoy as a kid that brought you a lot of happiness you stopped doing it yeah if it's not that there's something something about your character that's natural to you very natural to you now cancer bearing in mind you guys are very intuitive very psychic yeah your water sign is natural to you so it may be something to do with um 
and I've said this to you guys before, if you go back about two, two, three months ago, and then I was actually in this room, funny enough, um, I'm at my boyfriend's right now, um, I was in this room and I said that to you guys, I said you guys could be uh, Reiki healers, um, tarot, tarot readers, you know, psychics, mediums, astrologers, like, do you know what I mean? Something like that, guys, is very natural to you. Like, if you realise that certain things affect you strongly, you know, like your emotions, and or you just get all these thoughts and these dreams, and you're like, what does it mean? But guys, that's signs to you. Very specific for you. Okay? Don't ignore them. A lot, I, I do you know what? It's funny, because I have met some cancers that have said to me, because they, they've... um they didn't meet me through this it was um you know just in the area yeah this girl she said to me well, she's a woman she's about my age in her 30s but she said to me um just cancer she said she said gee i get such intense spiritual downloads so, sorry i get such intense spiritual downloads messages i don't know what to do with it and it scares me like i don't i don't like it and you know what you know i'll tell you this now when you reject it it's harder for you 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 do need to accept a lot of you guys i'm sure you would have already but some of you guys need to accept what you were naturally born with what you were gifted with and some of you guys might see it as a curse is not it's not a curse it's not guys and I get it too, I'm a water sign, I'm Pisces, right? So I get it. There's certain things that you will experience and you will see and you're like, whoa, I wish I didn't see that, you know? Well, you, you know, it's like certain dreams and then you notice it comes true and you're like, oh my God. And then you're scared because you have certain dreams and you're like, I don't want that to come true, but they don't all come true. Some of them, there's just little messages there, you know? Somebody that passed away might pop up in your dreams. They're saying hello to you. They're, they're saying hi they're trying to connect with you in different ways now sorry it's getting a bit loud i hope you can't hear that but anyways um there's accept your gifts guys if you're a cancer or have any cancer placements like as your sun moon venus rising north node it's very likely you're supposed to do something that is help is is meant to heal not only yourself but other people when you heal yourself you are healing other people because what you learn you are going to literally push that out into the universe and it helps others as well and that is one of your purposes cancer a lot of you guys know this already is what i'm saying is nothing new to you but there are cancers out there that that are not um you know they don't know they don't know and they're like why why do i feel this way guys there's something that you are supposed to do and it's supposed to heal not only yourself it will help you heal yourself and others okay um yeah so Right, let's pick a few more cards up for you guys if you haven't already please like subscribe all right let's see what else we have for you cancer but don't can i just say please don't ignore your gifts guys don't do it all right let me tell you guys um i have a very big family i have a big, very big family and my nan my mum's mum um she used to do tea leaf readings and uh, and palm readings and she was the only one and everyone was like yeah your nan was very psychic she used to tell me things and that and i don't know it, i've got I've, there's hundreds of us in my family on my mum's side loads of us i'm the only one i'm the only one doing this i i felt so strongly and i've gone through things over my life guys where i didn't even know what was going on really i did i just i've been predicting things my friends would ask me for my opinion and my advice and i would say this is going to happen like this like that like that and they come back to me a year later and say Gee, how did you know that was going to happen? So I kind of knew I had something. And you, I, I, I bet you, you guys are like that too. Please don't ignore it. Please don't ignore it. Embrace it, okay? So important. It's definitely, for you to have certain cancer placements, that's one of your paths, guys. So please, please, please embrace it. I'm going to pick three more cards. Oh, why is that turned around? Okay, pick three more cards for you guys. It's exciting, you know, when you start to heal and you realise what gifts you have. Because you don't even know. I don't even know all my gifts. I know certain things that, yeah, that I've definitely, um, like, I've, I've known for a while and embraced. But, mm. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Two more cards, please. Oh, 
that flipped out there's too many i'm gonna do that again they've gone everywhere it's, it's a lot okay there we go how many is that strength eight of swords strength yeah you may feel bound right now you may feel stuck in whatever situation you're in right now maybe mentally physically spiritually guys have strength have courage okay you, you will you will come out of that you will you just gotta believe and believe in yourself if nothing else believe in yourself i know everybody has different beliefs you know but if you don't believe in anything believe in yourself okay one more card for cancer six of cups told you there's something from your past there's something from your childhood Maybe that's why some of you guys are kind of like, you know, I don't feel it's for everyone, but whoever I'm reading for right now, I feel like this person is, is kind of rejecting their gifts and it's a blessing, guys. Not everyone, not everyone is in tune like that. You're a cancer for a reason. It's very much about you today, cancer, and I like that. Like with the other signs I've picked up on different people, this is about you. It's about your journey. Okay? I like that. It's like self-love. This is a message that I, I hope will help you moving forward and breaking free from from this from from this thought you know it's like what's going on with me why am i so different why like, who do you want to be like you're unique you're you there's no one like you cancer so you know please be courageous embrace your past and embrace the gifts that you have been given okay i don't know what it is guys but like you've got to do it it's different for everyone but just look into it and see what even if you're not because i didn't know about astrology tarot and stuff like that but trust me when i am interested in something i i dive in i'm i'm a water sign too we go deep we go deep so i don't even worry about what you don't know this and that because trust me if, if you are that interested you will learn it and it won't be an issue okay anyways i'm gonna leave it there guys please like share subscribe guys have an amazing week and i will see you in your next reading